Welcome back everybody. As you probably guessed from the title and the intro of this video, we are testing out some body armor today. These are my favorite videos to make by far. They're actually fun. I really like them. So uh, the one we're going over today is Hyperline's new backpack armor. So as it comes from the factory shipped to you, it will look like this. It has a 600D uh, Cordera cover on there, but inside of there is this stuff here, which is the Hyperline. I have done two videos now, I believe, on the Hyperline armor. And uh, it's extremely, extremely impressive stuff. Uh, you guys can watch it, but just here on the back, you guys can see all the warranty level, all that stuff information. It's uh, level three alpha rated. It's also got some additional ratings to it. And the thing that makes it different than other UHW MPE type of armor out there is how lightweight it is and how thin it is. So this thing right here is insanely thin and weighs virtually nothing. It weighs, I would say, half of what most competitive offerings weigh, which is important, particularly in backpack armor. So if you're carrying a backpack a lot, uh, you don't want a heavy weight in there. So uh, basically the way it is designed to work is that you take your backpack, which we have here, and it says here, wear, wear face, uh, this side toward body. It really doesn't matter. I'm just gonna tell you that, but that's what they tell you. So anyway, so you're gonna want this side here with the Safe Life logo facing out. And you're just gonna put it in your backpack, depending on what kind of backpack you have uh, and what compartment it will go in, zip it up and you're good to go. So uh, whether it's for you who wears a backpack um, or it's for a child, a grandson, a whatever, um, who you want to protect um, in a situation where they may be forcibly disarmed or just because of the state, uh, they don't, they're not allowed to legally defend themselves. So one way to do it is with some armor. So uh, for those who don't know, this should stop everything up to uh, 347 Magnum. 44 Magnum and uh, other stuff below that. We're gonna test that today and I think we're gonna push it a little bit farther, but we shall see. If you're new here again, we kill all armor. All of it will die one way or another and uh, this one's about to die as well. Let's get started. We have the armor panel downrange about 10 yards, maybe eight. And uh, basically we are at mobile velocity distance. We have some 158 grain 38 special here coming out of a J frame. And uh, we're gonna work our way up after that. We'll see how it does. As y'all saw with the slow-mo, we center punched that one right there and out the back, absolutely no pass through, just some dirt on there. We're gonna keep going. Up next, we have some 124 grain minute ammunitions coming out of my A-Rex Delta, so nine millimeter. And uh, we'll see how she does. Let's check it out. We're gonna to try to spread these around at least initially. So nine millimeter, of course, hit over here to the right and uh, did not go out the back at all. It hit with more force though, as you guys saw. Uh, so we're gonna keep up in the game. Speaking of upping the game, we have my uh, UMP 45 here with some 185 grain Remington hollow points. So going fast for 45, plus we have the added barrel length and uh, it's probably gonna jump a little. Let's check it out. Up next, we've got some double out buck. I believe this is Remington as well, coming out of my 14 inch Mossberg uh, short barrel shotgun. <laughs> Let's check it out. As y'all saw, that 12 gauge buckshot has some power. So uh, basically the group is like right here of where those nine pellets hit, nine pellets all being roughly a nine millimeter caliber all at once. Uh, it definitely moved the back face of it for sure, but absolutely no penetration there as you saw. So 
Uh, behind it, I don't know if I've mentioned it yet, but there is a bunch of dirt back there, probably 40 or 50 pounds to kind of simulate what it would be like impact wise if it was on you and this pushed through the dirt, like pushed the dirt over. So it definitely had some power, but as you can see, stopped everything. Up next, we're going to be right at the limit of what this has rated for. So this is 357 Magnum. This is a Swift A-frame, 180 grain load coming out of my Smith & Wesson here with a four inch barrel, uh, 686, if anybody is wondering and uh, we'll see how it does. Again, this is the edge of what it's rated for. That hit. Hopefully the slow-mo picked up the actual impact spot, but I'm guessing it was somewhere in here and that's just based on the back face deformation here. Um, but as you can see, it is just fine, even after all those hits, taking a full house 357 Magnum load. So doing really well. And again, it weighs next to nothing. Let's keep going. Well, since it passed everything it's rated for, we could end the test there, but that's not fun at all. So we're going to push beyond it. So we have some 460 Smith & Wesson Magnum 300 grain XTP jacket hollow points from the folks at Underwood. So anybody who knows Underwood knows they're smoking and obviously we have a full barrel here on our smith and wesson xvr so it's going to be even faster and of course this is one of the fastest uh handgun rounds on the market period and just power just raw raw power it is not rated for this i want to make sure everyone understands that all right let's see i lost my front sight <laughs> Seriously, my front sight came off. What's up with that? Y'all have seen the slow motion. I did not see it. So I don't know if it showed it or not, but this thing got sent about 40 rounds downrange through the air and uh, I have not changed it. This is how I picked it up, just like this. So obviously we had our impact right there, even with no front sight, able to get a hit. And then that is the back right there. As you can see, did not penetrate at all. So you might have some, some trauma uh, just from the blunt force impact, but man, stopped it. Let's keep going. Once again, we are going with a round that this is absolutely not rated for. Uh, we have some Federal 5.7 40 grain from True Shot Gun Club. Appreciate that. Coming out of my PSA 5.7 rock. If I had to bet right now, I don't think it's going to stop it. But let me know down below in the comments what you guys think. Moment of truth is upon us. Let's see. It might have. For those of you that are new, first off, subscribe if you like the video. But the reason I thought it might have stopped it is because when rounds go through armor, typically the armor doesn't really move. It just stands still. And this one obviously jumped with that 5.7. So we put our impact point down here at the bottom to get a fresh spot. And sure enough, it stopped it. Stop 5.7. Absolutely not rated for that. Most of your level 3A will not stop that round. Good on Hyperline. Good on them for that. All right, let's keep going. This one, I really don't think it's gonna stop, but we'll find out. I didn't think it was gonna stop that last one. So 220 grain Remington 300 blackout subsonics coming out of my 10.3 inch barreled Daniel Defense. And uh, we'll see. Um, let's find out. I haven't taken it apart to see yet, but basically I wanted to get a fresh spot, so I shot down there. And looking at the back, we have a tear, which indicates it might have been through. But man, I don't know. It's rarely do I take the armor actually out in these type of videos, but I genuinely there's a black helicopter hovering. That's not your imagination. I think it stopped it. That's never happened before on the channel. It did. Holy crap. It absolutely did. 
And I think, yep, that's the bullet. And I bet it's super hot. But I'm going to touch it because I'm an idiot. But yeah, it absolutely stopped it. Again, that has never happened on the channel. Every single level three alpha that I've ever tested. That's crazy. Don't expect that. It's not. <laughs> so yeah, it stopped it. That's, that's the best performance I've ever seen. Impressive, impressive. I've done a lot of armor tests here on the channel, probably 50 or 60 at this point. I've never reshot something, but I'm gonna reshoot this one because I totally did not expect that. And I wanna see if it's a fluke. It's the exact same ammo, same distance, same rifle, same everything. I'm just gonna pick a different spot on it. Let's see. Once again, wanted a clean spot, went down here, as you guys just saw, it stopped it. I mean, that's insane. It's not supposed to do that, but it did. Open it up. Yep, there's the bullet yet again, right there. You guys can probably see it. That's crazy. Crazy talk. Again, super impressive, but let's keep going. Admittedly, I was not prepared for this at all and didn't think I brought enough ammo to actually go through it, but I did. Uh, I have 120 grain that I found in my bag, 300 blackout, so it's an all copper bullet. It's a hollow point, but I mean, it absolutely should not stop a supersonic random blackout. <laughs> Who knows at this point? Let's check it out. The slow motion probably told you all what you need to know, but uh, we did have our entrance point in a fresh spot right there, punched right on through, as it should have done. Uh, it's fully expected. Those 300 blackout rounds, the subsonic should have done that too. Uh, again, big credit to the armor. But we're gonna test a couple other things here because this is backpack armor. So I wanna see if it, in conjunction with other things, it might stop more stuff. So since most people who are carrying backpacks have books in them or other items, we have four magazines here that I grabbed from my wife's magazine pile and we're going to stick it behind there and uh, see if in conjunction with this, if it'll stop some rifle rounds. I genuinely have no idea if it will. No idea. We're all going to learn together. All right, guys, we have the magazines behind the armor and some um, Red Armory Standard 762 by 39 coming out of my GF3 AK from PSA. And uh, we'll see what it'll do. I, again, I have no idea. Let's check it out. Well, I think you guys saw again from the slow-mo that it definitely went through. We were just a little bit below the 300 blackout that we shot through earlier, and it went right on through there. Um, so I'm gonna try something a little different, just see, who knows? Keep trying. Given what we just saw with the 762 by 39 I'm guessing this is going to go through as well, but we have some M193 coming out of my Jackal. Important piece here is that the Jackal has a 10.5 inch barrel, so it's kind of slow for 5.56. So we will see. Let's see. We have moved locations, which in a Mr. Guns and Gear armor video lets you know that the plate or armor rather is sufficiently dead. And uh, at this point, I'm going to call it. So uh, that last M193 round there that you guys saw uh, kind of came out right here. One big difference, though, you can tell. Obviously, this is a 7.62 round, and then right here we had our 5.56. So it was absolutely trying to stop it. I'd be willing to bet with another stack of magazines that is this thick, like another one layered on top of it, it would have stopped that 5.56 round, the 7.60 better than I Rob it up. But getting back to the actual armor itself, I think uh, most of you who have watched the video up until this point realize I'm genuinely impressed by it. Um, exceptional performance. Uh, for any level three rated armor, obviously it's stab proof as well, cut proof. 
but exceptional performance. And uh, literally it's the best ever here on the channel. Um, so uh, not mad at all about that. One thing of course that I want to let you guys know right now is that during the month of October, you guys can get $50 off this right now with code Mr. Guns and Gear 1031. And uh, it'll get you guys up, up until the 31st of this month, it'll get you $50 off. Um, and right now this particular, the Hyperline version of this panel is coming in at 299. So for you guys, $249. Again, um, it's performed exceptionally well. It, it really is all you need to know and really all I can say about it. And it's super lightweight, which is awesome. So with that, I think we'll basically close the video out. If you guys have any questions, you can post them down below in the comments section. Uh, you can also post them at my various social media sites here um, or that I you know, post that and respond to. If you're not following me at any of them, go ahead and do so. Uh, additionally, if you like this video, as we mentioned, and you're not subscribed, go ahead and hit subscribe because we do armor testing videos all the time here on the channel. Additionally, if uh, you guys aren't seeing two to four videos a week uh, here on the channel and you are subscribed, it's because you're being censored. So uh, in order to prevent that censorship, you guys can sign up for my email at the website here on your screen. This email goes out at most once a month and it just has all the videos since the previous month's email in there. So that way, you're not being censored uh, your eyes rather aren't being censored from my content uh, additionally this thing goes on sale any of the guns that you guys saw featured today go on sale any of the ammo go on sale any of the optics any of that stuff go on sale uh, you guys can be notified by my daily deals email here so every day the email goes out and has six or seven of the best deals that we find around the internet so that way you guys can save yourself uh, some money hopefully and save yourself some time because if it's in the email i've done the price comparisons already and it's the cheapest i know of on the internet on that particular day so with that that's all i got for you thanks for watching i appreciate it look forward to seeing everybody in the next video